What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. When the truth is found to be Welcome out, everyone, all of you great decoders around the world, both male and female, always. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality, and today we're going to be breaking down and decoding some Lucy, Lucy, Lucy in the sky. I've decoded Lucifer, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. If you're so I get a lot of people request things and I'm like, it's in my catalog. Go look at the uh, go go search for it. I probably have it. I've probably decoded it. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I'll leave the video link in the description of this video so you can just go down and click on it. It was so it's one of my older videos, but um, you know, I, I highlighted the band The Beatles and how they were being used and all this stuff. But I've been, this decode I've had shelf for, I think almost two years. So the material was a little, you know, like it was a little outdated. I had to revamp some of the stuff and, but I did my best and you're going to start to, you, you'll see some older slides in here. And you know, this, this entire movie, which was a fascinating movie, um, it had the dragon symbolism in there and the, <clears throat> the dragon is light. And of course, Lucifer being the, tied to the dragon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but this has so many nuggets in it, especially the guy who, you know, who, who wrote it and directed it. And look at what his first name is. <laughs> it's Luke. Or I don't know. I don't know if it's Luke or Luck, but <laughs> he's got Lucy in his name. I know, but he's out to get you. He, maybe he's a Mason or a Jesuit and he's trying to mock you to get one past you. That's what he's trying to do, this guy. No, he's a filmmaker, <laughs> but maybe he is. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But he's trying to get, he's trying to pull one past you. So is Scarlett Johansson. They're all out to get you and they're all trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Just be aware of that, these people, all right? And so, you know, this guy right here is very interesting because of his birthday. He was born on the same day as the great guitarist from Alice in Chains, Jerry Cantrell, who I've highlighted many times, Alice in, Ch Alice in Wonderland going down in a hole. I decoded down in a hole. Jerry Cantrell has the same birthday as this guy. And 18 is tied to Jesus. Jesus is 18 in numerology. Christ is 18 in numerology. We're all having the Jesus Christ superstar experience tied with Lucifer because Lucifer is the light bringer to bring you the motion picture. Okay. And here's kind of the screenshot that <laughs> shows you that this guy didn't have a choice at creating the movie Lucy. I'm going to show you what Lucy's all about. But here's his birth card right here. It's the 31st card in the deck. And you tie that into the tarot to get the picture. It's going to be this card right here. If you now the tarot is I look observe the tarot is 77 or 78 cards because the fool is card zero. So if you don't include that in card 22 position. It makes 77 cards. So anyway, this is card number 68 or 69. Okay, 69 being the yin yang. Five is the identification. And it's the diamond. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Five is always going to measure up to any archetype in this reality as the identification. So this is the identification of the supernatural God, whatever it is you want to call it, that runs this reality. Yeah, using us as instruments. Um, and it's, you know, it's tied to this word right here called absolute. 
absolute. And I'm going to show you where I got this. I just got this this afternoon, of course, because I'm tied into this code like crazy. But absolute is 31. The absolute 31 tied to this card, right? And the 31st element in the periodic table is called gallium. And the picture they use for gallium is a rooster. Okay. And if you watched my uh, highlight aspect of the Punisher, Punisher was the rooster. They played the song. It's all about a movie down here. Okay, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Lucy, Lucifer. It's all you being used as an actor or actress in this reality. And this guy uh, who wrote Lucy is no exception. So when you say five of diamonds, it becomes the number 64, which is tied to this element called gadolinium. The GD element, of course, as fate would have it. So when you take gallium's protons and you add it to gadolinium's protons, 64 plus 31, pretty easy math, you're going to get... 95. And this is, if you've been paying attention, it's one half of the I am that I am. We become the am, right? We get, we become the manifestation or the image of the G-O-D. And this, you know, how I found this, just, I found this this afternoon, right before I'm ready to, you know, get working on this to release it to all of you great decoders, because um, this is what I'm led to right here. And what I have been saying for a very long time, just not directly in your face like this, I've been saying mankind's being used, you're being used by the G-O-D, but you are the G-O-D because it's using you and you're part of it. So I got this decode coming out. And what it's kind of inspired me was uh, Morg and his channel. And this is, you know, like I clicked on YouTube today and this is what I saw. This is what showed itself to me um, as I was scrolling through. I was looking for clues and bam, there it was. You are God. So I started watching a little bit of this. And this was from the CIA and they released this or the, the government, whatever, the CIA document telling you that you are the consciousness of the absolute. Now, you would say, well, that's their opinion. That's fine. Well, I'm going to support that in my upcoming decode of you are God. Oh, you bet your bottom dollar I will be doing that. As I've been saying, you're on television, you're an actor, actress, you're the G.O.D. It's playing out its own game, experiencing its own reality. This is absolutely true in my book. Absolute, no pun intended, no play on words there. Okay, so I would definitely, I'm going to leave this link for Morg and his channel. If you want to go, maybe you already subscribed, maybe you want to go check out, he's got some really cool material. Um, uh, maybe you want to check this one out. So I'll leave this one in the description, but I'm going to be coming out with this and this is what inspired me. And of course, you know, right here, absolute. And of course, as fate would have it, right? Because I'm in tune with the code. This guy has the birth card of the 31st card in the deck and he writes the movie called Lucy. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That's how, that's how, that's how mankind's being used, folks. This is the G-O-D, right? This is all of us. 64 codons in our DNA, 64 squares in a chessboard, which is why the black and white has nothing to do with Masonic stuff. Nothing. Zero, zilcho, nothing. Because those people are being used too. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I got the idea from, the absolute and the 31. And 31 is 3.1, but it's also the first numbers of pi and phi, three and one. 1.61, 3.14. That's how the, the G-O-D experiences itself. But here are the uh, topics of conversation for this presentation. We just did the intro. That was the intro. Always want to include that zero. Number one, we're going to talk about Lucy Light. Number two, Lucy Dark. Number three, I love Lucy. Number four, Lucy Van Pelt, which is why I had Snoopy dancing in the background. Remember Snoopy and Charlie Brown and Lucy Van Pelt? Oh, yeah. And then the last topic, Lucy in the sky. <clears throat> Show you what Lucy in the sky is at this current level of my understanding. So let's get into the first topic now, Lucy Light. So we're going to talk about the movie uh, a little bit, and I'm going to break down the word Lucy, and I'm going to break it down using alchemy. A lot of these words on the periodic table, you can spell them out uh, with the, and this is, you know, it's, I shouldn't say a lot, some. But when you can spell something out on the periodic table, it's pretty ingrained in our in our reality. And this is no exception. Lucy right here. And you know, you can do, I, I'm going to leave some of the things for all of you great decoders to do. You can add up the atomic masses, which is in scientific terms is called the molar mass. But I just decided to add up the protons, right? Blending these three together and you get the number 116. And what is this right here? A permutation of the golden ratio. How about that? Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It's all about the light game and the light game has everything to do with the golden ratio because gold has to do with the sun and light and all that kind of stuff. And it leads to this element right here called tin. Now, this is such a big 
bomb right here. Because tin, when you go look at tin, okay, if you read about it, look what it says about tin. It has the greatest number of stable isotopes. Okay, here they all are right here. 10 of them. It's got 10 of them. 10. Okay, 50 is a big number because remember, if, you fall, if, you're, if you're a fan of crypto, Bitcoin started with 50 in the blockchain. The January 3rd, where they started the Genesis block, it's the Jack of Spades card number 50. And, you know, it has this isotope, which is called the double E magic. And I'm going to, you, you can click on this and read all about it yourself, but it's got the 100 there, which is tied to the show, the 100, which is all about coming down from the sky, the sky people. If you watch that great show called the 100, it was the sky people. Okay. And it was them coming down to earth to experience the reality after a cataclysm to re-inhabit the earth. But there's, there's the stable ones. One, one, six, one, one, seven, one, one, eight, 119, 120. Of course, 120 has the highest percentage. Remember Genesis 6 verses 3 says, my spirit shall not live in man forever. It'll be 120 years. That's right. So I'm going to show you what the G-O-D is. It's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I'm going to show you all that stuff, what it, le what it leads to. And it's this element. In God, we trust in numerology is 50. That's right. That's right on the back of the dollar bill. So the dollar bill has nothing to do with anything being evil, folks. Mankind's being used to create currency. All right? Yeah, it can get corrupt. People can start doing this and that. Totally. But that's golden age to dark age. That's for a different story. But this is isotope 117. Whenever you have the ability to round up, it's going to be isotope 11. Uh, going to be an isotope higher than the atomic mass. So there's always an encroachment. There's always two numbers here. If it's going to round up, that can bleed together. And I'm going to come back to this is a very big one. I'm spending some time on this one because it's very big. And remember, this is the golden ratio, a permutation of that. <clears throat> so it's a very big deal. How about the actual release date of the movie itself? July 20th in the U.S. Now it has two release dates, one in France, one in the United States. But the first release date, July 25th. And here's the July 25th card for the cards of illumination. Let me just be really transparent. Here's the boilerplate chart for the cards. Here are the 12 months running across and then the 31 days running vertically. And we had June 20, uh, Ju July 25th. There it is. It's the three of clubs right in that July 25th spot. Okay. That's the release date. And if you watched Alice in Borderland, the show on Netflix, this was the Game Master card. Okay. It's the Game Master card. And who has this as their birth card? Thomas John Ellis, who they casted to play Lucifer. And Jerry Bruckheimer, who produced the show, he's got the Three of Clubs card, born on September 21st. The guy who discovered melatonin was born on September 21st. If you go watch my pineal part two decoded, you'll get all that information. Melatonin controlling the pineal gland, which controls the light and dark, the, serot the melatonin in your brain. Okay, this is all tied to the light bringer and light and dark and the cycles of life. Okay, this is what it's all tied to. It's all tied to Lucy, Lucifer, et cetera, et cetera. All right, but just like that, you can see the connecting points. And it's the 16th card in the deck. And if you go to the numerology and you type it into the periodic table, what is the word that's tied to 16? Light. Light is 16. Lucifer is known as the light bringer. Kind of a dead giveaway, right? So there's more to than meets the eye than just what's saying, what's been said here and the story in the context. <clears throat> and it's leading to this, obviously, because, you know, not only is light 16, but hell is 16. Check out my down in a hole. This is a slide from down in a hole. This is spirit going down into the game of life to experience it, to experience its own game, the G-O-D. Lucy, which I'm going to show you what that all means. Lucifer is the personification of the light coming down to play the game. Okay, and then you're going to get the whole, that's where you're going to get the devil story and you're going to get spirit into matter and all that kind of stuff. And then the actual second release date they're showing on here is August 6th, which is, you know, 68 here. And we already have the 68 is right here. It's card 68 tied to the guy who wrote Lucy, right? Tied to gallium's most abundant atomic isotope, 68. Its average is 69 tied to the absolute. Okay, so this is all tied together and there's nothing evil about it, folks. The good, the bad, and the ugly is involved in this reality. Okay, just because you say something's bad doesn't mean that it's not the supernatural anymore, the G-O-D or whatever's running this reality. It's got a personality just like you, experience its whole reality. 
And this is the 33rd card in the deck, August 6th. So it has the two cards of the three of clubs and the seven of diamonds. And just like that, we have a connecting point to the Christ. Cru Jesus being crucified at 33. Most of you have 33 vertebrae in your spinal cord. That's the tree of life. The 33rd element on the periodic table is called arsenic. It has an atomic isotope or an isotope of 74. Both Jesus and Lucifer equal 74, but this is Lucy, right? So the Christ and Lucifer are tied together, ladies and gentlemen. You can try to sh you can try to skin it any way you want, but you can't get around the code that's playing out here. All right, you can't get around the code that's playing out here. And here are the two cards that are tied to the two release dates for this movie, Lucy. We have the July 25th card, and we have the 6th of August card. And what do we see here? The 37. So we can easily look at the 37th card. And what is the 37th card in the deck? The Jack of Diamonds. And what is the Jack of Diamonds? It's the Jack in the Box card. Okay, Jack stuck in the box. That's you and I. As I have been consistently showing, a lot of you great decoders have been showing, we are stuck in this reality, in this box, somehow, some way. Do we ever get out? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You got to make lemonade out of it instead of complaining, bitching, and moaning and pointing the finger. It's not anybody doing anything to you. It's you doing it to yourself. All right? You're just along for the ride and you're being used. And if you add these up, this is the 16th card and the 33rd card. It's going to give you the number 49. And 49, as I had said earlier, is down in a hole. 49 49 and we go right here we we went we go down into the hell hellish regions and hole into the hole that's that's exactly how this works right here and now we have the character we have lucy coming down to lucifer and the jesus christ experience it's all one and the same folks it's just packaged differently that's it and this is what Lucy is right here and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you this is the very end i did a sneak peek on this in my what's your question 61 Thanks everybody for tuning into that, that live I did just last night. Um, but here is the, here's Lucy. My opinion of Lucy. My opinion of where heaven, you wanna know where heaven is? It's tied to the sky above you. And it's tied to Uranus, the planet Uranus. <clears throat> Uranus sits at 97 degrees, 97 is the 25th prime number. This movie comes out on the 25th. Now, simple stuff to take a look at, but you know, you go all the way back to ancient Samaria, which predates all the religious texts, predates Christianity, predates Judaism, all of that. So it, I'm, I'm not saying it's superior, but it predates it. So the origins of religion come from this right here. And it's Anu. And Anu is 12. And Anu was called the king of the gods, sky father, heaven, the king of the heaven or sky. And I in the sky that's looking at you I, th I thought for a long time, I thought it was serious. Nope. It kind of changed my whole perspective. 37, 37 is the 12 prime number. You see how this is connected? Numerology tying it into the mathematics. And it's Anu. The 156 and the 12, these are going to be tied to the four fixed signs of astrology as well. And then how about the budget for this movie? 39 million. 39 is tied to Lucifer. This is Lucifer's original spelling in Isaiah 14, verses 12. This is the mid-grade, actual. The, what I mean by mid-grade, you can move this up and it's going to be 75. It's going to go all the way down to the number 12. If you would go to single digits, 5, 1, 3, 3, it's 12. But here's 39 through the composite numbers. And there's the element that's tied to that. And there's the 88 tied to time travel. The letter Y is the 25th letter. This got released on the 25th. And you even have the Christ in here because Argon, which has the 18 protons, is tied to Jesus and Christ. And uh, it has an atomic mass of 39. And this is tied to the moon, right? Maybe just the portal of how we all get in here. Okay, the moon just may be the server in the sky, the supercomputer in the sky. So now that was Lucy Light. Let's get into Lucy Dark. Lucy Dark, and you know, that's going to tie into spirit into matter, right? The light bringer, bringing you the movie, and you become a character down here in this reality, playing out the Jesus Christ superstar experience, which is tied right into Lucifer, folks. That's why I say be the best little devil you can be. You can't help it. I know you're going to try like crazy not to sin, but you, you're going to, because you're human. You're experiencing, you're being used anyway. So there's no reason to have any guilt, shame, et cetera, et cetera. It just, you know, doesn't mean you excuse yourself of being a horrible person. But anyway, here is the, here's what I like to often do is this is called alchemology. Uh, alchemy, I'm sorry, not alchemology. This is alchemy here. This is the molar mass 
in scientific terms is called the molar mass when you add up the atomic masses here um, <clears throat> of these uh, protons, okay, the isotopes here. And we get 498.765. So I'm going to take this 498 and I'm going to bring it into the string of the golden ratio to get a further look uh, into mathematics, right? Because the golden ratio, gold tied to light. Okay, we're talking about Lucifer, the light bringer. So go the golden ratio has so much to do with this, the, the spiral. And there's the 498 sitting at digit 14 at the very end, 12, 13, and 14. There it is. It occupies digit 12, 13, and 14. When you add them up, 12, 13, and 14 gives you 39. And what's 39? Lucifer, which is halo or hell. I call it hell because that's, that's exactly what it represents. The 16 light going down into physical matter, becoming matter, carbon, becoming you and me. Okay. Th these are no brainers here. I mean, being able to spell the word out and then getting the alchemy of this and then bringing it into the string of the, this is not a one hit wonder here either, ladies and gentlemen, they're showing this over and over and show the patterns, how consistent they've been. This is Paul, part of the source code playing out behind us. And then if you add these digits up, 1.618033988798, you're going to get the number 75. These total the number 75. And that goes to the full completion of Hebrew gematria through the full aspects of uh, Lucifer's name, the 30, 30, 10, 5, right? The 30 reduces down to the 12, okay? It's because the, the L is, the, the Lamed is 12, the 12th letter, but they have uh, given it a numerical value of 30. If you go, they go all the way to the top, the Gematria, it's, so it's 75, 39, and it reduces all the way down to the number 12, and 12 is the hangman, okay? This is what we all are, and that's tied to the sign of Pisces, Okay, living in the Piscean age. But there you go. And 75 is Lucifer, 39 is Lucifer. You can't get any more straight up than that right there. And this is not trying to mock you or not trying to get anything past you folks. I'm just showing you this methodology that I've been showing for years now. And many of you great decoders have been sh showing for years as well. What about taking the actual protons and adding them up? We take the protons and we add them up. We get the number 207. If you've been paying attention, this number here, if you, a lot of 193746, which was that pattern I found in Pi, it, you get all 1920, 37, 38, 46, and 47, 207. Okay, stuck in the box. Well, it's lead. Okay, the element lead. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of symbolism to Saturn, right? Of course. But it's time. You're stuck in time. That's just what it means. The den I mean, the small little subtleties, the density, 113, 113 is the 30th prime number, role play is 30. So easy to see this. And this is going to be isotope 208. And all you got to do is just go to numerology and type in Lucifer, and you're going to get the 28, right? Which is going to be a 208. It's just you take the zero away. So what is this telling all of us? Well, what is lead? It's us. You are the devil, folks. You're the person, that's why you're attracted to all the things that are, are evil. Things that take you down. You're attracted to them. You're attracted to the, the food that tastes amazing, but it's not good for you. This is just how our, 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 our whole reality is designed. Is this right here. And there are maybe some exceptions. So maybe some of you say, no, that's not me. Okay, that's fine. All you got to do, all that matters is what you believe. But I'm just telling you, if you're just honest and authentic with yourself and you start to look at your reality, you know, you're going to start to come into the realization of what I'm saying is, has some merit to it. And then what about lead itself? That's why I got the bullet here. What are bl bl bullets made out of? Lead. They kill people. That's why the Lucifer's tied to the devil in killing things. Okay? But you got to take into consideration, folks, lead has been on this earth a lot longer than you and me. A lot longer than you and I. And since our minds are not our own, who came up with the idea to create a gun and a bullet? You think the boogeyman was doing that? You think the devil's doing that? Well, I don't know, man. We're on different wavelengths if you still think that's the case. Anyway, there's the aspect of lead when you say it. And it's pretty dead on because it gets a humdinger here. The tarot to give us the picture. It's death. Okay, and this is where, you know, again, uh, if Lucifer is the, weakens the nations. Right? So it's anything, anything that's taking you down is tied to the boogeyman, right? It's time. Over time, people sin. Over time, you will face death. It's inevitable. 
That is what the whole essence of the devil is. And that's, that's the whole essence of what Satan is. It's just time. Over time, we decay. Over time, the golden age turns into the dark age. It weakens us. And you become this, death. And then this is the number of creation as well. Remember, 3.1, 31 is absolute. The mirror of that is lead. And you have a contract now with life and death. Okay, Lucy, Lucifer. This, there's a contract here. 27 is tied to a lot of big words, such as religion, sports, currency, language. They're all 27 in numerology, by the way. They're all designed to take us down and bring us down to our knees and kill us. Because we, every day we die just a little bit more. So that was the second topic. Let's get into the third topic now called I Love Lucy. Remember this show? I don't know if you were around or if you... I didn't really... You know, it's an older show. I watched a, I've watched it a few times here and there growing up. Um, Lucille Ball. But look, look at this, man. I mean, do you think she gets a hall pass? No, this is all the way back when it wasn't so dark, right? Times are a little easier. No cell phones back then for the general public. Maybe if people from underground had them. I don't know. But general public, no. Technology, way behind. <clears throat> she got the 58. 58 tied to the word puppet master. The word remote control is 58. If you bring in some of this, this is some of my older stuff. I don't really use, I don't try to mix and match these, but a lot of you like to do that. But clearly you can see, what is the tetragrammaton? The ancient Israelite God of the Bible. Okay. Tied to the G-O-D and the supernatural. Owns everything. It's a big Ponzi scheme down here anyway. It doesn't matter what you follow. And then if you do the English, again, these are old slides, a couple years old. Uh, the English, it's 166. And you get the tetragrammaton. So what is the tetragrammaton? The puppet master. What's the puppet master controlling you remotely? The five and the eight. Okay. And this lady didn't get a hall pass. That's for sure. How about the birth city? I mean, if you want solidification on this, what's the tetragrammaton? Lucifer. Oh yeah, it is. Tied right to it. Hey, look at, look at the zip code of Jamestown. What are those numbers? What do you see there? Those are the numbers of Lucifer, according to Manly P. Hall. Now, I'm not saying Manly P. Hall is absolutely correct, but I keep seeing the 741, the 147, the 471, over and over and over and over. So there's got to be some kind of merit to these patterns that we're seeing here. And then here is the coordinates, the latitude, longitude of Jamestown, 4279. It's lead to gold. You see? Lead to gold. Molybdenum comes from the Greek word molybdos, which means lead. And of course, we go right back up here and we have lead here. It's just in a different format. This is the actual true element called lead. Plumbum. Plumbum is 33 in numerology, but then you have the other aspect of lead, which is the 42. Life, the universe, everything. And it's lead to gold. Okay. And this lady being used as great as she was. You're living out a great code. She got to be an actress and probably live the superstar status. When you add up the molybdenum and gold from the actual latitude longitude, we get the number 121. That's the atomic mass for antimony. Antimony is the 28. Lucifer is 28. You see what I mean? I mean, it's unescapable here. This code is so in your face, so ridiculous. 51 antimony, antimonos, meaning not alone. This is tied to the implant in your brain. Okay. Everybody's got one. Yep, that includes you too. That doesn't think, you don't think you're, that's fine. You don't have to believe me, but how about molybdenum and gold? When you say those through numerology, 58, puppet master. Lucille Ball, 58, puppet master, tetragrammaton. What do you think the tetragrammaton is? <laughs> so easy to see this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And then her, her birth card. August 6th. Remember when uh, Remember when Lucy came out? Remember when the, the French right there came out the release of August 6th? Do you think they were sitting? Do you think that Luke and uh, the producer, this lady, you think they were they were fans of I Love Lucy? And they said, well, we got to put it on. We gotta, maybe they were. And they just consciously did this because Lucille Ball was born on the 6th of August as well. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. But again, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we're decoding this, but like, are people really sitting down consciously? And before they release the movies, they're doing this on purpose because they know this kind of stuff? Maybe. But again, I'll just go right back to mankind. Your mind is not your own. So you don't even have, I don't, like for me, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to code anything. You can see all the numbers coming out in real time. I don't, because I'm, I'm just t tied into the code as an instrument, right? And then, you know, this is what she's got. 
I mean, come on. She got the 33rd card in the deck. Jesus was crucified at 33. Lucifer, 74. Arsenic's got the 74 and 33. I mean, really? It's just This is just so easy to see, this whole kind of stuff. How about the actual incorporation date? I mean, here's another humdinger. How, how do you explain this? Like, again, man, how, how do you explain this? Like, do you actually think they cast her based upon the stuff I'm showing you here? April 19th card, the 28th card in the deck. Let's just be really transparent. April, here it is. April, I'm going to come down to the 19th. There it is. The two of diamonds. The two of diamonds is card number 28. I mean, really? So she was born in Jamestown and they cast her because they knew that it was incorporated on April 19th and it's the Lucifer card. One of them. Come on. That's just absurd thinking. Where mankind's being used. It's just, it's all for fun, man. It's all for fun. So uh, Jamestown, the nickname's called the Pearl City. That's 42, matches the latitude. If you remove the word the, that's going to give you the 28, going right back to Lucifer again. Lucille Ball's her name. She got the Luke, the Luke in there. I mean, it's just so easy to see. All right, let's get into the next topic now. Are we having fun yet? I know I'm talking fast. I'm being loud. Some of you get offended by that, I guess. I don't know, but <clears throat> Lucy Van Pelt. That's why I had Snoopy uh, dancing in the beginning of this right? The character Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and, and Lucy Van Pelt, right? So check this out. Again, so here are more people that are in on the conspiracy to try to mock you and get one past you. These people are in on it too. Charles Schultz, who created the, 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 the whole comic book, he's in on it. He's out to get you. <clears throat> I don't know what he's out to get, but anyway, Lucy Van Pelt, 45. Again, these are older. I don't really use the pie anymore because there's two versions of pie, 1.3.141, 3.144. So I've kind of steered away from using it. Um, I'm just exclusively kind of using the string of the golden ratio, but nonetheless, there's the 45 appearing at digit 60 and 61. That's gonna be 121 going right back to antimony and Lucifer again. You see how ridiculous this is? And then, you know, if you watched my uh, bloodline decoded right here, I showed that, you know, the fallen angels is tied to our bloodlines. That So it's, in the, it's written in the story of the context of how we got here. Now, did they really come and did giants really mate with little tiny people? I don't know how you do that. But anyways, uh, you know, that's just the way the story goes. And you have Pandora's box and uh, you have the, the cube of Saturn here, which is the cube of time, right? All of these numbers are going to add up to that right there. The, 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 uh, the magic square of Saturn. So it's really, really interesting. Um, all this kind of stuff. What do you see so far? Uh, I, I just think it's pretty awesome so far. Magic Square Saturn adding up to 45. Pandora's Box adding up to Pandora's Box being 45. Pandora's 31. Remember Luke Besson was born with the 31st card in the deck. Absolute is 31. It's playing its own game, folks. The good, the bad, and the ugly. That's why a lot of you are drawn to horror movies and serial killers. like Because you're interested in like, wh why would people do that? Right? You're experiencing this reality. You're used as an instrument. Okay. That's exactly how it is. And then I just decoded the sex. One of my latest releases. Thanks everybody for subscribing to that. And I talked about Elvis being Elvis L. And he wrote this song called Can't Help But Falling In Love With You off of the movie called Blue. Excuse me, Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii had a running time of 102 minutes. That's the atomic mass of rhodium. Rhodium is Pandora's box. So it's so simple. 45 and 102. Fallen Angel Story. This is Pandora's box. It's the box of time. And you're in it, and I'm in it. And you're not getting out until you die, at least. We don't know what happens after that, but pretty easy to see. And it's all about chasing ass, looking for love. That's what these, I can't help but falling in love with you. That's what this whole thing was based upon. This whole movie, that was the, the theme song. That's because it's, it's the spirit falling in love with its own game. The G-O-D, the supernatural. And how about this? I mean, here's Scarlett Johansson who plays Lucy. She was born on November 22nd, the assassination date of JFK, the Jack of Hearts. And then this, this movie comes out on the same date, November 22nd. How about that? Coincidence? Here I am decoding it. Almost back-to-back -back decodes, sex decoded, and now this one. And Lucy has the same, I mean, Scarlett Johansson, same birth card, as the release date of this movie, Blue Hawaii, which is all about falling in love, coming down here to experience this reality. So this whole thing is based upon, ladies and gentlemen. 
the whole thing. The word organic is 22. The word natural is 22 in numerology. Check out my Prometheus decoding. <clears throat> but not a coincidence here. This card means looking for love. Okay. And then we finish up with Lucy Van Pelt. Uh, she, this is kind of just funny. She offers psychoanalysis, psycho, being a psychoanalysis for, for a nickel. And there you go. There's more Lucifer. Okay, nickel. This is going to be isotope 58. 58 is tied to Puppet Master. It's tied to Tetragrammaton. What, the, the God of the Bible. What do you think it's all alluding to, folks? I create peace and make evil. I form the light and the dark. Come on. This is so easy to see this stuff now. It's undeniable now. How about Carrie Mendelson here, who was the voice for Lucy Van Pelt for this movie right here called Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang, uh, A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Their very first movie, Carrie Mendelson. She was born on September 9th. September 9th card? Oh, yeah. It's the 28th card in the deck. What's 28? Lucifer. You see what I'm saying? So like, these, nobody gets a hall pass. Nobody. You can go to church all you want, think you're doing this and doing that. Like, th maybe this lady's a born again Christian. I don't know. Who knows? But it doesn't matter. I, I go by the code, man. And it's undeniable that we're all being used as instruments to experience this reality. And that's it. Pretty simple. How about Stra Tracy Stratford? who was the very first voice. She did the voiceover for Lucy Van Pell, the very first one. Born on January 19th, the 119 date. What card is it? The Eight of Diamonds. Big shout out to Kevin Clark for pointing this out. Where does this Lucifer sigil fit? Right over the top of that card, all over all those diamonds going through all of them. 19 is the eighth prime number. There it is. 19 is the eighth prime number. And this is the January 19th card. Why? And why the 119? Of course, it's the mirror of the 911 because it's tied to the element tin. And I'm going to get into that, but actually right there. It's, it's tied to the element tin. I had this out of order. Okay. The 119 is tied to that 50 again, 50. And here I am. I'm 50 right now, 50. My age is 50, 50 right now showing this to you. I'm supposed to be showing this to you. So let me backtrack. Okay. So if you go 23 digits into the string of the golden ratio, here are 23 digits. It's going to give you a total of 119. What is 23 tied to? The word blood is 23. The word crown is 23. The word history is 23. And this 45 sits at the very tail end of this. It occupies digit 22 and 23. 22 and 23 equal 45? Really? And Lucy Van Pelt's 45. Fallen Angels is 45. Pandora's box is 45. And even Phi... The archaic version of Phi is going to be digit 23. The new modernized Greek alphabet is digit 21. Okay, I'm going to show that in a second. But there's the 119, and it's tied to this element called tin. Remember, going to tin and looking at the iso the main isotopes, there is the 119. Okay, it's, it's right there. It's one of the 10 stable isotopes. You got to know what st uh, stable and radioactive uh, mean for these uh, radio isotopes, what these things mean. Okay, so you can figure it all out. The longest lived radioisotope is the 126. That's tied to iodine and the I am. Just, just got to know what you're looking for. But the 50 is a bit, and God we trust is 50. I mean, the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz, the Tin Man. What was the whole story of it? He was looking for his heart. What is this saying? Lucy comes down to experience its own game. It becomes a human being or a character, and now it's looking for love. That's what this whole story was about the Tin Man. The Tin Man was looking for his heart. You're looking for love. When you grow up as a kid, you start you start getting into puberty, you start chasing ass, chasing tail, chasing men, chasing women, whatever, and you look for love. And that's not just chasing sexually, it's also starting corporations and businesses and building skyscrapers and doing real estate and creating products and food supplements and whatever else you're doing. You're, you're experiencing, that's the G-O-D experiencing its own reality. That's what this whole entire construct means in our reality. The whole thing. And it's using you to do so. Remember, phi through the modernized is digit uh, letter number 21 in the archaic. It's, it's our number 23. It enters blood. It's the G-O-D. It's Lucy entering the blood, the body, you and me to experience its own game. Lucy in the sky with diamonds coming down to experience its own reality. 23. 
how big the 23 is. Tied to our blood. Check out my four decoded. It was a, it was a decoding quickie. It was all blood. Blood is 23. Go look at that. You're going to see it's entering the blood. That's spirit entering the blood, folks. That's what it means. And then we go right back to Lucy and the spelling of it from the periodic table. And it gives you the golden ratio permutation. This is isotope 117. And just remember, you go here, here's 116, here's 117, 118, 119. They're all part of the 10 stable isotopes of tin. And it has the greatest number of stable isotopes. It has 10 more than any other element. So this has a lot of say in how how reality works. And the, it's the five and the zero, zero being infinite potential, five being your identification. It's the identification of the G-O-D, of spirit coming down to experience its own reality. You are God. You are the I am. Check out my CIA decoded. Okay? The truth shall set you free. That's the truth they're trying to, that, 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 that scripture means. Okay? So let's get into the, I think this is my last topic now, Lucy in the sky. And this is just one slide. Okay, which I showed on my sneak peek of my What's Your Question 61. So what is Lucy in the sky? It's Uranus, meaning heaven, meaning sky. Whoops. Anu, going all the way back to the ancient Samaria and the land of Ur. And Ur starts with the letter U. That's Uranus, Uranus. Okay, it's got the word anus in it. Remember, if you go study the biology, when you're created in the womb, guess what the first body part is that gets created? Your asshole, your anus. That's what gets created first. That's, that's the real deal, folks. It's right in there. And there's the land of Ur, Ur anus. You go all the way back to ancient Samaria. Now you're getting into the Enki and Enlo and, the, um, and, and that whole story, the Anunnaki. The Anu Naki. Okay? It's all about the sky god. This is, if you want to go to heaven, this is where you'd go to. Okay? So let me break this down. I already kind of did this right here. The eye in the sky looking at you. Maker of fools, 37. Okay? It can do whatever it wants with you at any time. It can cause any kind of chaos, any kind of peace in your life. Anytime it wants. Anytime. 37 is the 12th prime number, and it was 12. These are no-brainers here. No-brainers. And I said, if you watch the show Loose Front Netflix, one of the series, I can't remember which one it was, but there was this symbol uh, in one of the episodes. I can't remember which one it was. I'm looking for the photo of it because I took a picture of it. But it, it's there, okay? So the story of Lucifer is like, Dad won't let me go home. Well, huh, you're looking at Dad. You're looking at the Father. <clears throat> Okay, and here's Uranus through the archaic Greek, the old style Greek, 108. How big is this? You multiply that, it's 216, 432. You get into the 432 hertz. 216 is the divine triangle. 108.89 is the addition of these two elements right here, rubidium and magnesium. 37th element, 12th element. Go back over here. 37 is the 12th prime number. 37 is eye in the sky, 12 is Anu. Anu is the eye in the sky. The king of the gods, sky father, heaven. Heaven is 27. Uranus in the new Greek is 27. All right. When Jesus says, you're not going to get to the father except through me. Well, guess who the father is? The Uran We're moving into the age of Aquarius. It is Uranus ruled, folks. It's the crypto kingdom. Go check out my crypto kingdoms. So to finalize this of Lucy in the sky, Lucy decoded, Uranus has an 84 year orbital period. There's the 84 on that element. Rubidium's most dominant atomic mass, 84.91. The average is 85, which is a mirror of the 58. 84.91. There is the orbital period. You can't miss it. 37 side to the word shepherd. Okay. And then magnesium. If you go look at magnesium, the, and this, this right here, there's, this is the electric eye that is, let me show you. It's rubidium and magnesium. Let me show you this in real time. Here is rubidium, and there's the all-seeing eye <clears throat> right there. And then you go to magnesium, and what do you see there? You see an all-seeing eye. Twice, not once, but twice. So what, do you, what is this telling us? This is the eye in the sky looking at you. The maker of fools. I can read your mind. Watches everything you do. This is Big Brother right here, not the government. This is Big Brother. 
the government is being used. Those people are being used just like you and I. There are nobody in this reality gets a hall pass. Nobody. So if you just stop blaming the organizations that are bad in your book, well, you're just cursing and you're just blaming the, 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 the eye in the sky. It runs it all. To keep the game going, you need chaos and order down in this 3D reality. And these are, these are absolutely undeniable in my book. I mean, Uranus is 23. There's the atomic mass of the most abundant of magnesium, 23.98. Remember, blood is 23. History is 23. Crown is 23. It's, it's so, this is so simple to see, folks. It's just ridiculous at this stage of the game. So that's what I got, ladies and gentlemen. What did you see? Thanks for sticking with me. I talked really fast. My usual style, loud, soft, the whole nine yards. I hope you got something from this. I really, really hope you got something from this. We'd love to hear what you saw. Keep your comments coming. Just keep them cordial. Again, it's all about loving here. You don't have to agree with everything I say. I want you to be skeptical. I want you to be somebody who uses your own logic and discernment. Don't believe what I'm telling you. Like this slide right here, to go do your own research. Don't believe what I'm showing you here. If you don't want to agree with that, that's totally fine. You got to make the truth your own because it's all about lights, camera, action. It's all about your movie. You're being used by, by Anu. You're being used by the supernatural, whatever that looks like. Even if you think it's a quantum computer <clears throat> running the reality, even if you think that, well, your, your movie is the only movie that matters, not mine. I don't pay your bills. You don't pay mine. I don't have to go to bed at night and sleep with your truths. So you don't have to sleep with mine. So go, go be a skeptic and go do your own research. I would encourage you to do that. All right. And if you haven't watched uh, more than a few handful of my videos, I mean, I got 420 plus videos. Keep digging. You're going to start to see the patterns, folks. And you'll see that, you know, we're being ruled over by energies outside this reality, however that looks. But we'd love to hear what you saw. Keep your comments coming. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decode Your Reality. Until next time, we will see you later.